Hi, my name is Eric Rombach Kendall. I'm director of bands at the University of New Mexico, and I've got friends from Boston Brass with us today. And one of the great challenges that uh, young brass players have is how to play um, how to play loudly with a really great sound, maintaining a good center. And so the Boston Brass is going to talk about some training strategies that will help uh, high school and uh, middle school brass players be able to play with full good sounds. Here's Boston Brass. Hi, hello, members of the Boston Brass. I'm Sam Palakian, and we're going to be taking you through the climax of one of the great pieces by Astor Piazzolla. And uh, he, this is one of the great dramatic moments that he's ever written. And this we will be playing for you now from about seven eighths of the way through the piece of music. And it's a very physical, very uh, marcato, extremely loudly marked piece of music. So here's the piece, and then we're going to go and train and try to improve it. very basic places in, in uh, brass playing, which is uh, air. So we're going to play this in air, we're going to hold our hand in front of our face and feel music that looks exactly like what we're seeing there. All of the articulations, all of the tempo, all of the dynamics, and we're going to imagine a gigantic sounding brass quintet while we're doing it. So we can imagine the music while we blow wind, and that's what's next. <coughs> So being that musically involved while blowing in just air is so much more physical and takes so much more air than playing any of these instruments. Uh, and the reason we do it is if we can make the music and relax the body while we're being that physically loud, then we can do the same thing on our instruments. And that's what you're about to hear. So here we go. Uh, this is, uh, would be the time normally when we go to play this, but instead we're taking it to a second level. And let's go the lowest, stuffiest note we can think of, as loud as we can play, and uh, do everything you know about the articulations and the sustain, but hugely loud and low because it's the place that takes the most air. trained up to such a physical level as to use this uh, ability that we've been given to make more sound to make more music out of it. So here's the climax of the piece after training at those two different levels. <sighs>
gentlemen. Thank you. And thank you for your attentions. And uh, next time, it's time to train loud music, and you don't want to make people tired, have them do it and win. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.